Taurus. Let's go ahead and get straight into your reading. See what messages come through for you guys, okay? So let's start with the Steampunk Tarot messages for Taurus in their area of self and personal development, growth. Let's see. What are the messages for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. Mm -mm. Oh, that one came up. Two of Cups reversed. Uh-oh. Messages for Taurus. <clears throat> Wow, Five of Swords upright and the Eight of Swords. Damn, Taurus starting off pretty brutal, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at the In the Shadow Oracle cards. Let's see what what messages come through. What message, well, I need to focus on my healing. All right. In that moment, I didn't care. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got, I scared myself that day. All right, so let's see. Those are intense messages. Let's see what else comes through. What comes through for Taurus in their home area? Two of Pentacles, home area for Taurus. What's coming up for Taurus in the home? Three of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, lots of lots of work on the home. Okay. Let's look at the Hidden Truth. Messages for Taurus from the Hidden Truth, Volume 2. I saved your texts and messages. messages. I don't know why this happened. Actually, they're this way. And then at the bottom of the deck, we've got We Don't Share the Same Values. Okay. All right, <clears throat> let's put this over here. Let's see in your relationship house, what comes up for Taurus in the relationship. Five of Pentacles is the first one. What's coming up for Taurus? Four of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Chariot. Okay. And what do we got from the Hidden Truth deck? What's coming up for Taurus with the Hidden Truth? I regret lying to you. I want to feel that way again. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the timing just wasn't right for us. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at your 10th house or house of career. What's coming up for Taurus? Ooh, okay. Now, now that I like that. <laughs> well, in career, you're doing fantastic. Four of Wands, yep. Career-wise, you're doing great. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, two came out, so let's take two. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Usually, it's only one, so I'm surprised two came out, which is why we're taking it. <sighs> All right. So we've got the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. I like it. I like it. What about Oracle Messages for Taurus? We've got a line. Stay in alignment with your core values and your vision for the lifestyle you want to create with your business. Okay. Ooh. Schedule. Avoid overwhelm. Save time and energy by automating your social media and marketing. Schedule it on a content calendar. Strategize. Results are not coming fast enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guesswork out of growing your business. And then the bottom of the deck says, analyze, research your market and analyze your competition. Decide how you're going to make better offers and provide more value than everyone else. Ooh, okay. All right, Taurus, let's get straight into it. The clarifiers will be for part two. So I hope you sign up so that y'all can see that. Now, let's look at it. Let's take a quick look here. So um, in the house of your personal development, <clears throat> You got a lot going on, Taurus. You, you've you got a lot of limiting beliefs, um, insecurities. You're in your head a lot. And it's coming from a place, uh, Five of Swords tells me that this is coming from a place of you internalizing things other people have said to you 
Uh, five of Swords can be a bullying energy. Today's collective may resonate with you a lot. Both of them. Um, because it's about moving past this. <sighs> this is always really sad to see. I hate, I hate looking at, at that. But Two of Cups reversed. This could have come even from failed relationships. You could look at it like, I'm not good enough. I can't. Like, if people don't love you, you have internalized this belief that you're just not good enough to love, that you're not lovable, that you're not worthy, which is not true, but it's created a lot of a lot of really hurtful blockages for you. And you, you see how you're wearing the blindfold. You don't see it. You don't feel blinded, but you are. It's affecting your personal growth. It's affecting the way you see yourself, how much love you give yourself. So I think that this is your shadow speaking, saying you need to focus on your healing. Because there are, these cards concern me. You've got, in that moment, I didn't care, and I scared myself that day. What does this mean, Taurus? This tells me either one, you may have gone through a really intense moment of pain to the point where, you might have thought, you might have had really dark thoughts. Let me put it that way. You might have had really dark thoughts. I really need you to seek some healing. I really need you. You don't go that far, please. Please don't. Um, because there, there's some moment you didn't care. So either you were going to hurt yourself. You could have been willing to hurt other people. Because there's something you really need to address your healing, Taurus. I feel like right now you're in a moment of a lot of dark energy not because you are a dark person but because your shadow needs to be addressed you need to address your shadow um that's the biggest thing here because two of cups you're gonna if you go and look for comfort in someone else when you're in this energy it's just gonna keep repeating a cycle and this will get worse. Instead of allowing that, why don't you just address it? Why don't you go heal it so that you can find yourself a partner that, that totally knows how to reassure you and give you a safe space and comfort you because you're just not in that space right now. Um, in, the, in the area of home, you're showing up with a lot of pinnacles energy. So for some of you, you may be building a new home. You may be remodeling your home. You may be working from home. Uh, you could be trying to balance. Maybe you're working from home and remodeling your home. Because you're trying to balance building something. Or for some of you, maybe you have a nine to five and you're trying to build a business from home. Um, maybe you are. There's, there's, there's something that you're putting a lot of energy into. And it's going to lead to stability. It's going to lead to wealth. Because we've got 10 pentacles here. We do have five pentacles. So right now you could be feeling like you're struggling a little bit. It's also showing up here. We'll get to that in a minute. But you'll be fine. Keep going. Keep putting in the work. It's going to be fine. Trust yourself, Taurus. You are the king of pentacles. You'll be fine. Um, you may have gone through some loss. Because we have... I don't know why this happened. I saved your texts and messages. We don't share the same values. So I feel like you lost somebody. But it's like the way it happened. You look back and you're like, I don't know why I acted that way. Your shadow, darling. Your shadow. But you also know that you're not actually compatible with this person. Or you feel you're not compatible with this person. I would address, I would definitely put a pause on relationships right now. Because you're not going to recognize yourself. That's why you're sitting here in the moment. I didn't care. I scared myself. You're going to do things that you look back. You're like, what the fuck was I doing? Because when our shadow takes over, let me put it to you this way. Okay. Our shadow is our subconscious. Our subconscious is learning things every day from us. So for those of you who have driven a car, because not everybody drives, right? For those of you who have driven a car, 
the way the subconscious works is that it's constantly trying to help reduce the workload of the conscious mind because the conscious mind is only about 10% or less than 10% of the brain. It can get overwhelmed easily when it has to make a lot of decisions constantly. So the subconscious is constantly learning things that you do repeatedly so it can create a habit and then the subconscious takes care of it and your conscious mind doesn't have to deal with it. So those of you who drive know that when you first started driving, it felt like a lot of information. You had to be looking at mirrors. You had to be thinking about the distance between yourself and other cars. You had to be thinking about the speed. You had, there were so many things that you had to keep track of. And it felt a little overwhelming, right? But with time, the more often you did it, and the more often you did it, now I bet you there are days where you arrive home and you don't even remember driving. And it scares you, doesn't it? That's because your subconscious took over. Your subconscious knows what route you're going to take. In fact, sometimes you're driving, let's say that you you decided to take a new route and automatically your your hand starts turning on the blinker to turn at the street you usually turn. You're like, what was it? What am I doing? What am I? Your subconscious is taking over. It's automating things for you. It does the same, excuse me, it does the same thing with your trauma. When you are in an environment where people tell you, I love you, but then they hit you. Or, I love you, but then they abuse you in any way. Your subconscious is like, oh, taking in data. Okay, this is love. So then later on, when you do things, like hopefully you don't hit anybody, but let's say you do. You hit somebody, or you're abusive, or you're mean, or you do things that later on you're like, I, I scared myself because I don't know where that came from. That's your subconscious, darling. It's your shadow. Go address it. Go focus on your healing. Because right now, whoever it is that you want to align with, you don't align with them. But it, I don't think it's because you're not compatible. I think it's because you need healing. You have to heal the way you love. You have to heal something about the way you love right now is not okay. It is upside down. It is distorted. It's twisted. And you're going to hurt not just yourself, but other people. Go focus on your healing, please. Because you have, I do see you putting a lot of work into your foundation. Let this be your emotional foundation too. Let this be your psychological foundation, not just your home. Although I already see you doing that. And Taurus, you're one of the best at this. I love Taurus energy because you guys are so great at decorating and organizing. And I mean, you are Venusian. You guys are awesome. But do this for yourself too. Do that, do that remodeling on yourself as well. Do the work on your mind, on your heart, because you will scare yourself you will sabotage yourself and you won't know why. You're going to keep repeating the cycle of, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. You're not doing it. Your subconscious is doing it. Your conscious mind does not choose to sabotage love. Your subconscious mind is like, oh, love. I remember violence. Love. Oh, I remember abuse. Love. I remember it's connecting it to what your environment as a child taught you was connected to it. Please. Please, the way to regain control, go heal, darling. Go heal. In your seventh house, you've got the chariot. See, I do see you healing, though, because you're you're like in this energy of I don't feel like myself because, yeah, you're, yeah, you're not. You've got in your foundation the five of pentacles, which shows up in your relationships, which shows up in, in the way you treat yourself as well. Five of swords. Because the fives mean something needs to change. And the five of pentacles, I don't think it's your money that needs to change. Because look, this is somebody who's dressed finely. They may be in debt. They may be struggling a little bit. But they're, they're well dressed. They're not poor. They're not the beggar. However, look at their body language. They're distraught. They're in pain. They're in agony. This is what needs to be addressed. Because when it comes to connections, you you're, you see how this is the back of the Four of Pentacles? It means things sneak up on you that you don't ever see coming. Why? Because you haven't addressed it. Then you may lie and you're like, oh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why that happened. 
you want to feel love again. Who doesn't? That is very natural, Taurus. That is completely natural. But if you rush, you may have Aries energy because I feel like you need to go look at the Aries energy. You've got to give yourself time. I know you want love. Everybody wants love. But right now, you're, you're not in the mindset for it. And you have, even you know the timing just wasn't right for us. It's not the right time for it. It's really not. And if you didn't know, oops, if you didn't know, I'm here to tell you it's not the right time. You can have friends that you love deeply. But if you get into a connection right now, you will regret it because you're not in the mindset for it. Okay. Now, let's go to your 10th house because I know you need some good news. You're like, please lighten it up okay so we've got we've got some great news actually for you up here um i don't i hope this isn't love i hope i hope because you're not ready darling if it is well the clarifiers i guess we'll see i'm going to not give it a romantic spin because i'm praying it's not love but Nine of Cups, you may be getting really creative right now. I mean, you are Taurus. Look at this. Look at the bull up here on this throne. You are the King of Pentacles, love. So <laughs> right now, you are in the energy of creativity. The universe, the aces are gifts from the universe. The universe is giving you a gift, some, some new thing. This could be a job. Whatever type it is, it's something that you were, you were hoping. You were really hoping you could get this. You might be getting a job, but it's in your 10th house, so you're so proud of it because this, this one is a good one. It's going to pay you well. You're going to be like, I am so well established now. Two of Pentacles. Now, you may have to balance that with other things in your daily life, but it's okay because you got it. You're going to be all right. I do think that... Let's remember what the Oracle cards are saying. Let's see. The first one was... Stay in alignment with your core values and your vision for the lifestyle you want to create with your business. So this could be you launching yourself as an entrepreneur. It doesn't have to be a job. It could be, remember I said you could be starting a job from home. You could be launching yourself as an entrepreneur. This is remember to stay in alignment because you do have, we don't share the same values. So I don't know what that is, but over here it's reminding you stay in alignment with what your values are. Stay in alignment with what your vision is for the life that you desire. Now, we do have schedule. Avoid overwhelm. That could also go hand in hand with this two of pentacles. Don't take on too much. Know how much time and energy you can be putting into, into things. Schedule things. Um, for those of you who need it, read the book Atomic Habits. That book is a lifesaver. It teaches you how to make habits stick. It teaches you... Uh, how to automate things to where your body, your subconscious does it for you and you stop having to make decisions every day about little things, okay? Strategize. Um, this could be getting the fact that you may need to, whatever it is that you're offering, you may need to spread out. Look at what other people are doing. Look at what you can do to give your clients a better experience or, you know, this could have to do with your with your career as well. Maybe look at what other companies are doing. See what value you can bring into your own company or into the company you're going to get hired into. And analyze. Research your market and analyze your competition. This one, again, decide how you're going to make better offers and provide more value than everyone else. This is something you can do. If you're going to work for someone else, you can do this. You can compare other businesses with the one you're working with. Think about how you can bring value. You are a king of pentacles, so you're already doing a lot. You're already bringing value. Um, but you can amp it up. And if this is a, if this is your own business, then definitely do that for yourself as well. Make sure that you have a step-by-step -step strategy, but do it by analyzing other businesses. What is it that you can do better? What is it that other people are missing? What is it that people want to want to purchase or need? Okay, so I'm going to stop part one here. I hope that you took value out of that. Let's go ahead and look at part two and get some clarifiers. See if we can if we can get you some answers. Okay, Taurus. So I hope you sign up. I will see you on the other side. Bye bye.